Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hello! It is Pixel Brothers here, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations for probably yeah. the last time. At least when... for this one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. When we left off, Miss Oldbag walked in because she has a present for us because we're fighting Albert. We're trying to get all the stuff. <laughs> then we were going to go to the dressing room. We can't because there's nothing in the dressing room. So I was like, what are we going to do? And she's like, I know what to do for you. And now it's just like, oh, what have you got for us? A special present of we've love. Been wait we've been waiting a whole day to find out what this present is. <laughs> it, it's. Uh. Uh. Mm. It's. A box of those samurai dogs, right? Yes, oh, any boy here, go on and eat one and you'll feel right as rain. Uh. 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 Hmm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Our way through here. Why did everyone get so quiet all of a sudden? Edgy Boo! Tell me you understand the depths of this lady's love for you. I'm not with one hand out in snacks. Willy nilly, you know. No, sir. That thought occurred to me that maybe it could be a good. Oh, you were nice oh, and uh, One day, my dream to serve you were my own. Homemade food. I mean, it's in the desire of every woman to make sure that her beloved is to go to the other one and experience it. I'm going to say, and greet the truth for the power to start. Mr. Edgeworth, can't you do anything about her? There's no power on earth that can force that woman into silence. Oh, God. Oh, God. But I'm so sick and tired of it. All you people do is look down on me. Even this box of samurai dogs played before a fool. It had a special design on its fan like the Japanese flag, so I thought it was special. But when I ate one, it tasted just like the rest. Oh, it made me so mad. Wait, a special box with a Hinamaro-like fan on it? Never heard of such a piece of merchandise existing before. Hmm. However, there, there, there it is. The, ri the red rising sun on this fan is filled in. It, is it possible? Could it be? After the show, the samurai dogs were piled up on the dressing room floor. However, there is no such thing as a rising sun dog. Yeah. Is it a blood drop? Right on the box. Boop. <laughs> this contradicts the facts between something that should not exist and yet does. The rays from this rising sun may be just what we need to point us in the right direction. A present? The studio big wings basically told us to play delivery boys. We were supposed to hand the dogs off to the embassy people and tell them hi. I had to pile them all in the bush guy just to move them all. Hmm. I believe I understand what this means, correct? You killed Mr. Cochin at this theater and then placed his body inside the push cart. Oh, logic chain, I see. Yeah. And then you forced the seal samurai to unwittingly move the body for you. It's time to piece the final piece of this logic puzzle together. No matter how fragile or small the connections may be, once we found them all, we'll find the way to the, the truth will be revealed. We'll find the way to the truth will be revealed. <laughs> I, I I know I misread there. Okay, Box Hammer Ducks are sitting in a push cart and then taking from the dressing room. The fan around and is filled in for some reason. And then we got the body in the push cart. So maybe if I put together the samurai dogs and the rising sun dogs, because it'd be like maybe I don't I don't know actually. No. The body in the push cart, the killer. Place Coach's body in the push cart in the dressing room. And oh, then the maybe samurai the, dogs. Maybe the, the rising sun dog with the push, the body being in the push cart. I'm going to go with the samurai dogs with the body in the push cart because they would have had to take the samurai dogs out. Oh. Okay. So that would be why they were on the floor for Miss Oldbag to find. Right? Yeah! Okay. I might kill. have been thinking too much ahead. You're fine. I'm sure we'll connect that to this one. Yeah. The kill used the push cart to transport the body. Which means that they had to remove the samurai dogs from within first. Therefore, the samurai dogs that were piled up on the dressing room floor were most likely taken out of the push cart by the killer. Ah, well then that means we connect the two of these together. Yeah. There's not even anything else that goes together, so just boop that together. That's fine. <laughs> That's not even a challenge for me. No. That which should not exist, this box of samurai dogs with the Hinamar Hinamaru on it. Hinomaru. Hinomaru, yeah. If this red rising sun was filled in when the killer was busy moving dogs from the push cart, then it's proof that the murder yep. took place in it's the exactly dressing room. It's exactly what you thought it was. That's right. As long as this red substance turns out to be what I believe it to be. Mundy old bag. <laughs> I thank you. 
<laughs> what you have given to me is truly something very special. Edgy boo! But Miss Edgeworth, are you sure you feeling okay, sir? You got fever over there. You ain't got the COVID yet, do you right, pal? Oh, no. <laughs> Mr. Alba, as I suspected, you killed Mr. Coach in the dressing room. Stop! Right there. <laughs> How many times must I have to repeat? Must, you, must I listen to you repeat yourself? Haven't you figured it out yet? Your words are meaningless, worthless, and powerless. The only way I'm going to continue to cooperate is with some definitive evidence. Oh, we've got some. <laughs> that arrogance, that self-confidence. You believe that you've erased every piece of evidence that could incriminate you. However, there remains one piece here. That is what will put you away for good. Ha! <laughs> You're bluffing! No, we're not Phoenix. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, sounds like you finally found them. You finally found the things you need to go after this guy's jugular. That sounds metal. So tell us, <laughs> what about what about that box of samurai dogs going to put the old man away? The trace evidence I'll bring him down? Why, it's here, of course. Do, 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 on the little dot right there. Oh, that's the wrong. How do I examine? How do I? It's not X. How do I? A? There we go. Yep. They switched that up on me for some reason. This box of samurai dogs with a rising sun fan on it. This should never have existed. So I want you all to take a good look at this red spot. It's a single drop of blood. That fits perfectly within the it's circle. It's a little too co it's a little too convenient, but yeah. what? <laughs> blood you say? Like there isn't even one smaller drop out of it. No, at and it's all. it's perfect. Like 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 as if Picasso made it. Agent Lang, I'd like this blood analyzed post haste. I've got it, man. I'm a bit surprised. I can't believe we found blood in a place like this. Hey, you. Get this down in the lab pronto. But why was there blood on that box to begin with? If we think about the flow of the crime, I think the reason will become obvious. Larry, you said that you, were tra that you transported the samurai dogs with the push cart, correct? Oh, um, yeah, I have a great memory, Edgy. <laughs> that push cart was a bit too big for my son, you know what I mean? So to make sure everyone could see him, I had to pile some stuff in. I figured the samurai dogs were there, so I used them to fill up the cart. If what Larry says is true, then what were the boxes doing on the floor? I see, the killer took them out of the order to place the body in the push cart. Exactly, and that is when I believe the victim's blood found its way into that box. But when my man investigated that room, not a single box of samurai dogs was in there. Because then busy staff members already confiscated them. Yes, no doubt to hide the evidence of the murder. It's a good thing this old bag managed to steal that one box before they got to them, huh? Looks like Miss Old Bag also managed to put this great thief to shame. <laughs> what a scandalous way of putting that. I didn't steal, I received it from myself. <laughs> Kirk Asalba, I'd say this was your very fatal Good oversight using in your that part. that as like a testimony in court. Yeah. Guilty. <laughs> Sorry to run on your little love fest, however. How... How can he be so self-confident in no win situation for him like this? Yeah. Even if that blood turns out to belong to Mr. Cochin, then what? <laughs> so, Mr. Edgeworth, it sounds like he's not ready to call it quits yet, huh? The sole piece of evidence that was left at the scene of the crime, that alone has shed light on a new fact. At the very least, we now have proof that the murder occurred in the dressing room. And you said it like it means something. Huh? Oh, Excuse me, sir. Oh, forensic. <laughs> Excuse uh, me, sir. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah that works. <laughs> That's for right. My forensics has always been. Report. What were, the, what were the results in the analysis? Sir, the analysis came back and confirmed that the red substance is blood. I can't wait for it to be Alba's blood. Because he got stabbed, remember? It might be his. Oh. That's how we put him That's how we put him away, because it's his blood on the box instead. Probably because he got in a fight with Mr. Coach in the dressing room, so that's where he got that cut from. Not from Damas the second, like he claimed. Yeah, because when he'd lean over, the boop. Yeah. I knew it with this Kirkus Alba. Mr. Edgeworth, I wonder if you might humor my question. Your question? The one from before, have you forgotten? You would add to Mr. Cochin's blood, what difference would it make? Like where he told you, it proves that the crime scene was in that dressing room. But it doesn't prove that I am your killer, does it? Gah, that's... that's... Mm, he has a very good point. The blood in that box doesn't prove that Mr. Alba is the killer. Th then... this evidence... it's meaningless? That can't be! We were so close, sir! <laughs> I want to smack that smug look off his face. Come on, there's got to be something we can do. 
We finally found a solid piece of evidence. There must be something I can expose with it. You got my drift, Edgeworth? Uh, uh, I can't think of a single thing. No. Ah, come on, you dummy. <laughs> well, they're saying it was. They're they're saying it was Manny Cochin's blood. They haven't said it yet, though. Mm -hmm. That's the point. They, they interrupted him. Who was that? It's too late. I won't allow anyone to stop me now. And it wasn't me, pal. <laughs> and it wasn't me this time either. It wasn't me either. <gasps> it it was me. Oh come on. That. Oh come on. Oh no, it was him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was me! <laughs> it sounded like Ron. I know, that's how he used to talk. <laughs> yeah. Why but did you... <laughs> it's like, dude, why would he be there? Really? I know, but well, the mask, the mask the second showed up. Why not the mask the first? Would he... <laughs> He's got to defend himself. <laughs> no! He's got to defend the name of the mask. No, that's not, that's not how <laughs> Why did is. you... Oh, uh, because I haven't finished reporting everything to you yet, sir. There's more? What? Hurry up and spit it out. Yes, sir. That, that blood I mentioned. It's not of the same blood type as the victim's blood. What? No! Er. What? <laughs> what? What do you mean it's not the same type? You mean it's not the victim's blood? If it isn't his, then who the hell's is it? I, 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 I've said it already. I, I don't know, sir! All I know is it's not the same blood type as the victim, sir. What should we do now, Mr. Edgeworth? I have no idea what it's what anymore. Neither do I. Come on, Edgeworth. You got more brains than me. Come on. <laughs> My one amusing ton of events. Huh. That blood drop proves something to be true, all right. Give me my words. And which one of your words would that be? The ones where I said the old words are meaningless, worthless, and powerless. That blood has nothing to do with the murder investigation whatsoever. Need I remind you that the blood got onto that box long before it entered my embassy? But what sort of nonsense? Yeah, it's blood, pal. There's no way it's not related to the murder. <laughs> so you would like to believe. But what if someone preparing the samurai dogs has a small nosebleed? What then? D I guess that's possible. Damn, we've been wasting our time with a red herring. That <laughs> red. <laughs> the blood doesn't belong to anyone connected to the case. That should be clue enough. Kirkus Alba, you bastard! Ooh. Silence! Do not ever address me with such a filthy word again! But it's I've true. wasted enough time here with you and you have your answers. Now let me through! Alba, this doesn't make- this doesn't matter where you run off to, you'll never escape me! Someday I'll have the satisfaction of sinking my fangs into you! You'll see! And all of Interpol will be behind me working to see that- to- see to it that that day comes! <laughs> Do you know what your words sound like to me? They sound like the whinings of a pathetic loser of a mutt. Oof. No. Oh. Aroo. Aroo. <laughs> <laughs> Scooby? <laughs> Is this really the extent of all that we can do? Is the blood really from someone completely unrelated to the case? No. No. <laughs> He's just trying to get you to think that so he can get away. Or is there another possibility? Someone else other than the victim? Yes. Just when I thought I had him back into a corner. He even straight up showed us. <laughs> It is I who has been backed into one. He's like, look at this on my chest. <laughs> In a situation like this, what would that man do? <laughs> <laughs> what would he who can turn any disparate situation around do? I mean, hell, he could even turn me around. <laughs> I mean, turn it around? That's it. Yeah. I must turn my way of thinking around. <laughs> it's not whose blood is this. It's whose blood could get onto the box like this. And if I think about it that way, if the blood, you really like that, huh? If the blood got onto the box when the body was being placed into the push cart. You're pandering to me a little bit. <laughs> then the owner said blood must have been in the dressing room the same. I mean, I'm pandering to a lot of people that yeah. watch our videos in the first place anyway, so. What would that man do? <laughs> and there's only one person that that could be. I just showed you a meme the other day where he calls him him or that yeah. man. Or <laughs> well, I must praise you for trying so hard. It's because of you kids that I was removed from center stage. I will be forced to live out the rest of my life in the shadows, unfortunately. But it's not a total loss. It's the end of the world will allow me more freedom than you'll ever know. <laughs> freedom like what the raven free feels as it flies Freels. through the dark night sky. <laughs> What's a raven feels? 
You can't lay a finger on me. Not now or ever. The arm of the law is powerless before me. <laughs> powerless, is it? I wouldn't be so sure about that if I were you. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, God. <laughs> Let me describe you in one word. What do you mean? Pitiful. Pitiful? How so? Kirkus Alba, your wings were clipped long ago. Dirt. And for someone who was trying to fly away with on them without noticing that fact, pitiful is the perfect word to describe you. <laughs> Mere words. What do you mean by his wings were clipped, Mr. Edgeworth? Just what you think it means, Kay. We had already caught him in our trap a while back. With an incredibly powerful definitive piece of evidence. Hey, hey, Earth the Prosecutor, care to speak in English? What are you talking about? What piece of evidence? <laughs> the piece I speak of is, of course, this drop of blood. But we know that it's not from the victim. I don't see how it remains relevant to the case at all. Miss Von Karma, I believe that is exactly why it is very important to the case. And the part that is the most important is the fact that it's not the victim's blood. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you call this immediately? Yeah. You're looking a little pale. Good, then I believe you're already aware of what I mean. Then you know who the blood belongs to? <laughs> of course I do. It's so weird. You never... When <laughs> It bothers me. <laughs> Whenever there's a comma... You, you you don't say good then I you go you say good then I believe 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 as if there's no comma there. <laughs> Commas are meant for pauses. Bleh. Read, man, read. <laughs> this piece of evidence is the irrefutable proof that will stop the killer in his tracks. The blood that soiled this box of samurai dogs belongs to this person. Dude, where 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 is he? Where 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 is this old fuck? Ugh. There he is. He's gross. The blood of the rising sun in this box belongs to you, Kirkus Alba. Grrr. What? What? Why is his blood on the box of samurai dogs? He's not even a victim. The blood fell into the box when Mr. Cochin's body was being loaded in the push car. At the time, the only two people in the dressing room were the victim and his killer. So that's what you mean. If the blood doesn't belong to the victim... Since there's only one other person it could belong to. Yes, and that person is the murderer himself. That's the only logical conclusion. But Mr. Coach was the one who got who was stabbed, sir. Well, it must have been the one who was bleeding. What if during the murder, Mr. Coach had fought back? You mean if before Mr. Alba could kill him, Mr. Coach managed to wound Mr. Alba? You trying to prove a point here to me? <laughs> yes. And I believe we have a piece of <laughs> evidence that proves that, that he was bleeding long. then. <laughs> What is the piece of evidence that shows that Mr. Alba was probably bleeding at the time? His wound! <laughs> Mr. Alba, you bear in your body a great wound. That was from when Demes the second attacked me with a pair of scissors. Yes. Yeah, and that happened way after he was in the dressing room. Ah, uh, but is that what really happened? You can manufacture a weapon by smearing blood on it, so I can't just accept that as fact. Should we try a test, Mr. Alba, and see if the shape of your wound matches the scissors? You really are something else, Mr. Edgeworth. You don't lend, let a single thing slip by you, no matter how insignificant the possibility. <laughs> You're one to talk, Mr. Alba. You've managed to give the law a slip for ten years as a smuggling ring's leader. No matter the danger, you can hide every last ounce of fear and anxiety from everyone. You truly are a one-of-a-kind criminal. <laughs> I'm the master of my fear, having to think that a person such as you could miss such a large thing. You believe I've overlooked something? You said that my wound was caused by Mr. Cochin, and that it was caused here in one of the theater's dressing rooms, right? Yes, that is correct. I'd like to point out that it's simply not possible. My wound is a stab wound, one that could only have come from a blade. I wonder where you would propose that such a weapon came from. Ah! This theater was packed with security guards. It would have been impossible for anyone to come into come into this area with a weapon of any sort. Just as Mr. Alba was able to bring into, into the Alba's knife and a bouquet, there must have been some other weapon to sneak in and a weapon of some sort. Some other weapon way to sneak, to in, sneak a in a weapon of some sort. <laughs> ah, but as long as you can't prove that what's the other what that other way is, all you're talking about, Mr. Coach, inside me is pure nonsense. It's the key. Mm -hmm. 
Sure, that other way does exist. You better hurry and tell me now. That's right, because he had it on him. Yeah, and you can hide the weapon that way because you just turn it into the yep. key and no one will know the better. Yeah, and then like, you go oh, you in got there. A key on you. Okay, and yeah. Mr. Cochin is the one that knows how that works because uh -huh. that's his key in a safe. With pleasure. Wait, what? <laughs> this piece of evidence shows us how Mr. Cochin brought a weapon in this theater. The key. At least that's my that's my even though there's no blood on it. I mean that that's that's that that's my theory, and he probably tried to wipe it off. Yeah. To protect himself. But, please, last two rock, come on. Yes! I was going to say, it wouldn't make sense otherwise. Grand, there's all those other pieces of evidence where I, I guess we could have looked through anything to see what else yeah. could have been instead of taking that, that leap. But we're smart people, yay. <laughs> Among law enforcement, this piece is known as the Yadagrasu's key. That, that key. That's the key that my father stole from here seven years ago. And it is very unique in that it is both a key and a knife. Meaning that under the guise of a key, it could have easily been brought into the theater. Jesus. You couldn't dispose of the knife that stabbed you. Therefore, you wiped off the blood and placed it back in Mr. Cochin's pocket. Boom. After all, the key itself opens the safe in his office. Yep. And inside that safe, there's a document about Kadopian papers signed by Mr. Cochin. In order to make it look like Mr. Cochin died as the leader of the smuggling ring, you had to make it so that the police were the ones who opened that safe. Office safe. <laughs> <laughs> All that hard work to save yourself only served to destroy you in the end. Shall we try matching this knife's blade with your wound, Mr. Kirkus Alba? <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> and that is what some may call the coup de grace. Hey! It's impossible. You... You can't take me down? Swine, all of you! Especially Manny Cochin! This is all because of that man's betrayal! He sought to steal control of the smuggling ring from me and by removing me as ambassador. Which is why I deserve to die for bearing the guilt for all my crimes for me! Jeez. That's why I sent out the Yadagrasu's card and how the sensitive was born! Manny was supposed to be the smuggling ring's leader who was killed by the Yadagrasu! But I had yet another reason, yet another story that was supposed to play out! Manny's death was supposed to bring everyone to a close! And I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids! I mean, prosecutors! <laughs> <gasps> Agent Lang is Scooby Doo! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Album, I'm afraid there's one more question I forgot to ask. It sounded more like Tim the Toolman Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> this country is our alabasts. Which country's court would you like to face first? You got really, really into that. I did my best. <laughs> Either way, it's game over for you. E. <laughs> Edge warrior. Oh God! He's exploding. <laughs> um. Oh God! Oh my! Oh, ugh. Ew! Ugh. He turned into the tree. Oh God! <laughs> You killed him. We aged him 90 years. He's dead. <laughs> 90 years? He pretty much already was 90 years. I know. I'm just saying we aged him 90 more years than he was. We we sucked the sore right out of him. Jesus Christ. We turned him, in, we turned him into one of the... One of the... One of the... Uh, in Hercules. Then they cut the string. They're not sirens. What are they? What, were, what was their technical what? name? In Hercules, where they cut the thread... You mean the, ladies? the you mean the fates? The fates. That's the one I was looking for. That he turned into one of them. Oh, just decrepit as shit. <laughs> Eyeballs okay. falling out. Thanks to Fair Live Number Two. <sighs> yeah, sirens it. are a whole other <laughs> section of mythology. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is it. The big day. It's Mr. Alba's trial today. And next week he's scheduled to stand trial in his own country of Alabast. Francesca is heading that one. I suspect she'll be serving a full course of whiplashes at it. Having to face Miss Von Kaman Corey, I'd have to face in you, sir. Oof. Oh, I don't even want to think of what I would do and what that would be like. I caught a glimpse of Mr. Alba as he was being escorted in the courthouse. And boy, he looked about as glum as I do the day before I get my monthly paycheck. Uh. <laughs> I get paid nothing. You want to give me a pay raise? No. <laughs> ah, damn it. You know, I've been thinking. That flight attendant and even Mr. Portsman were all Mr. Alba's secret agents. Correct. That smuggling room was the com common thread between all the incidents. Kenny Neal yep. was to provide support during oh, smuggling hey. ops using your job as an attendant. <laughs> and Mr. Portsman was to manipulate trials related to the ring to end in their favor. 
Uh, I fly airlines and even the prosecutor's office. No one was safe from the smuggling ring, huh, sir? I suspect there are even more members of this ring spread throughout the world. Yeah, sounds like such a big op that I can't even begin to imagine what it's like. He's hurting his head. Oh, uh, God, it hurts my head. Huh? What is detective? Ah, nothing. It's just... Well, come to think of it, Miss Dennis Damano's trial is also scheduled for later today, sir. Mm. I'm aware of that. <laughs> Mr. Mono's been working with the smuggling ring now for now, over 10 years. Now, now, <laughs> now. Now, now, let's not go throwing the word smuggling around so much. <laughs> I it like looks, to use the word specialist transportation. It looks like he's <laughs> sleeping there. <laughs> yeah. He used the Amano's group various connections worldwide to assist the ring. He sees with Brock logic. <laughs> but all that has come to an end as this conglomerate is now undergoing harsh scrutiny. I owe Mr. Amano a debt of gratitude, but he must pay his debt to society. Well, with the arrest of both Mr. Alba and Mr. Amano, I guess that about wraps up the gauge aid incident as well, huh? I suppose so. The real killer in the KG8 incident 10 years ago was Manny Cochin. And 7 years ago, the killer in the second KG8 incident was Mac Rell. Yeah, Mac Rell. Those two facts are the unshakable truth. However, it seems that a lot of effort was put into hiding these and other truths from us. And I'll expose it all at the trials today. You solving cases left and right today, aren't you, sir? <laughs> CCU and Dead Man. Deed man, however you want to say it. Perhaps now, <laughs> these two brave souls who tried to make the truth known can rest in peace. By the way, I received oh, yeah. some gifts from Ambassador Polano. I got about 17,000 buffet tickets you can eat for life. Shrimp, Shrimp <laughs> crab, beef. I don't need any of these, so I'm giving them to you. What? 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 Seriously, sir? <laughs> Wait. Actually, I don't think I want them anymore. The way you're holding them. Don't tell me they're just coupons, sir. Detective Gumshoe, have you not read the paper recently? Ever since the two countries became Kadopia again, its economy has changed. Really? It seems that Ambassador Plano has reaped a few benefits of his own from it. He has been announced as the official ambassador of the newly unified Yay! Kadopia. Ah, but what a pity. What? Oh, well. Okay, so who is that now? Ah, oh, but what a pity, even though every item he sent is a treasure, you don't seem all that interested. Oh, that must be K in the background. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it's, oh, yeah, because oh, I read that and I'm like, oh, so oh, she's in the background, like, oh, man, just I impersonating. I, could... <laughs> I know, right? I wish <laughs> I could go back to those lines, but they didn't well, let that happen in this game. <laughs> well, if you don't want them, I can give them to my lovely assistant, K. I didn't say that. But wait, that's not what I said. So, Miss Dentruth, please let me have them, sir. <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, where is K? How come she's still not here? She was hiding. <laughs> hey, you gotta be more alert than that. No, don't just scare the shit out of me, child. <laughs> Can't believe you didn't notice. I was even mimicking Mr. Edgeworth's voice for a bit. I totally didn't notice you. I realized that voice was you. You're good at that, pal. <laughs> Lang Z says, Crystal still have blooms with each new spring. That was oddly romantic. Oh, why, why are you talking about love? You know that's <laughs> illegal right now, right? <laughs> Agent Lang, a pleasant surprise seeing you in here. It's been a long time since I set foot in a courthouse, but I wasn't going to miss watching the guy who screwed up my country finally get what's coming to him. Well, that and something else. I want to see you in action in court. Is that so, Agent Lang? We flushed out all the counterfeit bills, so Zhang Fa's finally at peace again. Yay! And it's all thanks to you, so I just wanted to say thanks. Wow, I never thought I'd see the day old Wolfie says thanks to Mr. Edgeworth. You stop it <laughs> now, God. Wolfie. I will cut out your throat right now if you don't shut up. That sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> I should be the one thanking you, Agent Lang. Also, can you not threaten to kill my subordinate? Thank you yeah. very much. <laughs> if you hadn't ne negated Mr. Alba's extraterritorial rights, bing! Oh my God, stop! Not, it's probably my last time I could do that. Yeah, true. <laughs> I would not have been able to bring him to trial. I believe the victor belongs to both of us in this case. A shared victory, huh? Look, don't get me wrong. I'll still never forgive you, prosecutors. And I have zero interest in that truth thing you talk about in court. I've always done things my own way, and that's not about to change, you got that? <laughs> I see. Well, I believe you should... Oh, gosh. I believe you should follow your own creed when you do your, do your job. 
Yet if there's ever someone your precious truth can't catch, feel free to sit around and cry about it all you want. As for me, I'm going to get that person no matter what. You still never pause at the commas. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's about time for the trial so to start. Much. We'll see you later. Listen, I'm just trying to give them a good job. I'm just going with the flow of how it should be said, okay? It, I'm going with the flow of the conversation. It's the opposite. <laughs> commas are meant for pauses. I'll be watching your performance in the gallery. I'm looking forward to this. I've been a whole ton of ticket for today's victory, sir. You see, that was normal. I'll help throw some. I'll help throw some around. Mr. Edgeworth wins. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you got enough because I'm going to go call my men up as well. A modest amount of ticker tape goes a long way. <laughs> Confetti. The scene shifts to the courtroom, and the final act of this long tale begins. The Legend of the Great Thief Yadagarasu. It's the story of those who choose to dedicate their lives to the pursuit of the truth. It's going on its own little speed now. Rescues of those who seek a guilty verdict for the defendants they meet. And to that end, you have no choice but to win by any means necessary. That creed was forced on me since I was very young. However, there are, I no longer think there are prosecutors. What, what now? The prosecutors, and, uh, and that is because I tripped up. Fuck. <laughs> Ooh. He's just in there all alone. <laughs> Even though I've only been away from the courtroom for a short time, I feel as though it's been a lifetime since I've set foot in one. And today, more than any other day, I feel the fight within me rising. Yo. Hey, good one. All right. Well then. Well, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. So. I know you said. Oh, oh stuff. Oh, I, oh. Hi there. Are you gonna say lie? You just doing your. Uh, you just doing a little bat. Okay. Oh. I'm really in Mr. Edgeworth's debt for the other day. How did I fall so easily into that? <laughs> Thanks to him, I'm still free to serve in the friendly blue skies. Also, about my suitcases. I've been selling them on the internet, and they become a real sensation. You're not do anything, man. Thanks to the praise, the art world is lavished on my work as being truly postmodern. The airline has chosen me to design their new line of iFly jumbo jets. Oh, Just God. think someday you will be able to take a ride in my pink walled yellow seated jet. That <laughs> might be a sight for sore eyes. Oh, no offense. God. That's going to be a bright plane. <laughs> That's going to give headaches. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, yeah. I remember that. No, I suffered a concussion. <laughs> oh, God. I have a brain bleed. <laughs> Edgeworth? Ah, oh, that rudeness of a rude man. <laughs> Because of where my time and money is wasted. But more importantly, uh, I received the most famous the previous statue of the Principality of Cadopia. Oh. <laughs> it weighs a bit light in my hands, but the ambassador Palena was the most generous. Oh, yeah, because they don't need that one anymore. Yes, the fake one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Uh oh. <laughs> We finally caught Agent Hicks's killer, and I was able to witness Mr. Albert's teary eyes. It feels good to finally bring everything to a close. I'd received another office offer from Interpol to work another case in cooperation with them. However, the Kadopian courts await. Boom! Oh snap! Kadopia's air is supposed to be very fresh, so my VIP should find new vigor there. Oh, God. Oh, boy. I hope that's not illegal in their court system. <laughs> yeah, for real. It seems Apparently, it's lenient here, it so. <laughs> <gasps> Our girl. Or is it Meekins? Hey! <laughs> oh, she's oh, just, I'm she's just, yeah, she's just walking around. <laughs> this little patrol man has been fired as of today, sir! Oh, no. I thought it was safe since we found a gun that I dropped. <gasps> But I had noticed that I had dropped my police badge too. Oh. I guess the really broke the camel's back is that when I couldn't find my badge. Oh no. But I'll find life is suddenly dropping into a dark black holster. Oh god. I thought I'd go to the courthouse and file a complaint with the Ruffles man. The <laughs> Ruffles man. <laughs> I guess that's that's, that's a good nickname worth. for Hedgehog. <laughs> Ruffles man. Oh god. Ruffles has ridges. Potato chip. Who's next? Now, now, oh, Emma. <gasps> hey. Emma. I forgot you made a cameo here. <laughs> yeah, she did. I was actually hoping to talk with Mr. Edgeworth a bit more than I did. But I've got to get going and return to Europe. I've still got a long way to go and a lot of stuff to study there. 
Next time I help Mr. Edgeworth on a case, I'm going to do it as a real forensic scientist. I'm sure he's going to need all the help I can give him scientifically. Hey! <laughs> Ooh, and all that background stuff. Good job, people. <laughs> Amazing Co. LTD. Limited. <laughs> <laughs> LTD. Mm -hmm. Limited, limited. Nah. <gasps> oh, this is probably going to be you. Well, it could be both of us. Yeah. Now, now I'm going to prison. <laughs> because the kidnapping was staged, I was let off easy. But I won't be going outside much time anytime soon, but that's really okay. The only prison I'm forever trapped in is a cage of love. Oh, no. The guard down at the detention center. Oh, God. Well, when he's on guard duty. He has such a cold look in his eyes, just like that prosecutor. <laughs> ah, stop it, Lauren. I'm still about. When will you ever learn to stop being a prisoner of love? I'm still about 90% <laughs> sure that that ring pop is not a ring pop in her head. That is something else. She is something else. Oh, she is. Whoa. Out of my way, sir. <laughs> Judge? <gasps> yes. It appears there are all sorts of drama that takes place outside the courtroom. Since we judge it air day in and day out, we've only heard a few rumors, but... Apparently, Mr. Edgeworth teamed up with a thief and became a detective. Maybe I should team up with a bailiff and try to become a lawyer or something. <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. Uh, Objection! <laughs> no, stop. Get back on the stand. <laughs> <laughs> that contradicts the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> oh god who is that oh yeah it's that's uh, yeah i'm not used to the sprite like that so it gets yeah. i was like what it's like how do you know who that is? we also haven't seen her in like 50 parts so yeah. hi <laughs> <laughs> well he barely escaped death yet again yeah but boy we lucky to have mr edgeworth help us out huh yeah, but because I lost the key, I got fired from my security guard job. Ah, uh, shit. Don't let it get you down, Maggie. You still got me. Hey, Aww. you want some coupons? You're right, sir. I won't be sad. I'm just going to pick myself up and get through this. I wonder what my next job should be. Ooh, this is actually kind of fun. <laughs> you sweet summer child. Just Poor don't be unlucky a, don't sweet be a waitress child. anymore. Yeah, no. That only resulted in trouble. Don't for be you. a waitress or a security guard or a police officer or anything for that matter. Really, just just uh, just work from home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not come to Kadopia for your summer vacation? We have coupons aplenty. Why now, Embassy is proud to present our Let's Investigate a Murder <laughs> Show. Also, recreating that particular place has created a few small fires of its own. Oh, no. Um, then we had a few problems with the fire marshals, but the next event would be great, I swear. I love how he really was just this <laughs> It would be an attraction entitled time. Capture the Otagarasu. Oh, of course, I hope to enlist Kay's up in creating our latest attraction. Oh, jeez. Oh, you money-hungry man. <laughs> Only if you pay me. Yes, in coupons. I can pay you in coupons. Wait, what? No, it's not what he meant. I can pay you in coupons. <laughs> oh, hey, everybody. All these flashbacks. <laughs> I can't believe that Mindy ditched me and went to Japan. <laughs> but it's okay, because that time I met Mi Miharu. Mi Miharu. We're planning to go to Paris soon and start a business. Paris again? We're going to sell blue ocean dogs. They'll sell like hot cake hot dogs for sure. I... Uh. A blue hot dog and a blue bun. I can't you turn your tongue and your face blue and your poop maybe too. I don't know. Uh. I know I'm not really the type to work a lot, but at, at all, or at or all, all really. But <laughs> oh, I noticed that I really haven't seen a guy in the blue suit at all recently. I wonder what's up. Well, the next time we meet, I'm gonna add, add, make me one of my dogs. Oh. It's like you remember those Jimmy Neutron fries when the movie came out and they were all oh, blue and then God, when you ate them, you yeah. just shit turned neon blue and green. That's what I'm. That's what my hot dog's gonna I do to you. I remember that. So do I. It was oh, Burger God. King, right? Well, no, they, they were in a they were in a freezer bag. At, oh, at a, they were at actually a, sold in grocery yeah. stores. Yeah. Mm, today I give testimony in court today. As a member of the Anagarasu. Yeah. Yo, Mr. Bad, you look well, all things considered. Hmm? By the way, have you not noticed that elements within have the ring have begun that? moving? Not noticed. Ooh, they're probably fighting over who should succeed, over who should be the next boss. Oh. Oh, let me tell you what, although to be honest, I wish I could forget I'd ever heard of that smuggling ring all year. <laughs> Lang Z says, thoroughly bite the poisonous snake from head to tail. Jeez. No one runs afoul of the law and escapes this wolf's fangs. I'll get you all yet. 
Oh yeah, youth. When I did become so old, I wonder. <laughs> oh, and then I get so old. Oh yeah, I begin noticing the gray hairs in my beard more. I'm thinking of retiring my mirror. Oh. So he doesn't have to look at it anymore <laughs> yeah. and be reminded of how old he is. Maybe I need Poor some guy. of that. Uh, maybe need some of that for men's hair color and beard stuff. No. <laughs> Whatever that brand is again. <laughs> oh boy. I was the pink princess and the pink badger all in the span of two days. Talk about busy. But it's all right because I got a letter from my beloved Edgy Poo. Oh boy. <laughs> Please take care of your hip and when you wish to speak, first take off your headpiece. What does he mean by that last statement? <laughs> it's not like I enjoy being under a headpiece every time I see him. It's all because then there's him in the creepy fuzzy pink animal and the pink princess of Edgy Poo. There's a little young oh, man with that god, Oh my, my god. 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 There she goes. <laughs> There <laughs> she goes. Oh, I thought I was going to be a hero. I think I, 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 I caught up pretty. I, I kept up okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. T trying to talk to her is totally f screwed up my own mouth. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just like, how did it Hey, room 1202. You know, you try to talk too fast and you start to trip over your own tongue. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> like your tongue's just like, no, we're not going to make those words. We're going to make other words and words know, that aren't right? even existent. Whoa, that feels so much better than the trial's over. Oh, and as always, your legal prowess is top notch, sir. Yeah, nothing beat the look on Mr. Alba's face when you revealed the ring's secrets. I was amazed. You're like a totally different person when you step into a courtroom. Miss Edgers is always ten times fiercer in court. Based on information Mr. Alba offered up, they've begun large scale operations to clean up the rest of the ring, which I'm happy to leave to Francesca and Agent Lang. So, what do you plans now, Kay? Hmm? Oh, well, we've taken care of the creep who killed my father, so I'm not sure. Hey, I know. Maybe I'll just keep on being Mr. Edward's assistant. Are you still trying to steal my job, pal? Just kidding, just kidding. I can't steal something so important to you, Gummy. Oh, what a relief. <laughs> oh, man. You're actually worried? Okay. Yes? Even after all that's happened, are you still planning to become a great thief? Of course. But I don't want to tarnish the legend of the noble Yadagarasu. So I'm going to hold off on doing anything until I make a tight three-person team of my own. A three-person team. I mean, <laughs> and myself. <laughs> and then we got Edward over here. We have an investigator, and we have a prosecutor, oh. and we have a thief. I mean, <laughs> three-person team of young beauties the same age as me, if possible. <laughs> <laughs> Those criteria. I highly doubt you'll find the other two other people you need. My father chose to fight for the truth. I think that's what was so noble about him. So you see, Mr. Edgeworth. The only things I will ever steal are the truths that have been hidden away. <laughs> I'm gonna work extra hard to make the world where the Yadagarasu isn't needed. Huh. Let's both strive for such a future. Well, I guess it's time for me to get going. I see. Find Maya! Hey. You two can start it! <laughs> Keep your chin up and stay strong, okay? And don't be a stranger! Call me every now and again. Don't be, worry, please. I'll be back. I'll be sure to break the lock on the window and sneak in. Okay, and bring some like ramen with you. Can't afford that anymore. <laughs> I mean, so right, Ezra's like, please <laughs> don't break in. If you can appreciate if you came in through the building's front door. <laughs> That's no fun. It's okay, Miss Ezra. The lock on my window home has been broken for forever. Oh my god. Oh, one last thing before I go. Let's take a group picture, just the three of us. Yeah, come over to a photo. Every big case has to end with one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He knows. Uh, what, what, what? It does. What? No. Oh. <gasps> Hey, why not? Don't tell me a camera shy, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, of course not. <gasps> he stuttered, oh, Gummy. <laughs> come on, Mr. Edgeworth. I'm taking the picture now. Hey, uh, hey, uh, come back here. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, you can't run away from this, <laughs> He's sir. He's straight up running. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, Detective Gumshoe. Yeah. <laughs> Stop that. I can't be seen doing that. Doing what? Okay, I'm totally taking it now. Say cheese. Can't be seen doing what? Smiling? And thus the long tail of the KG8 incident came to a close. Did Edgeworth make him smile by pulling and the corners of his mouth saw the demise of a smuggling ring and the birth of a little great thief. But there is little time to rest and relax. For I am eager to tackle invest the investigation to a new case. The reason for my eagerness is... My want to pursue the truth and... My want to believe in the strength of those who use the power of the law for good. Look at it. As someone who has chosen to live my life as a prosecutor, that is my new creed. 
Assassin's Creed. Prosecutor's Creed. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, that's, that's adorable. Cute. That's the best thing ever. It's like, dude, your ever. hairpin's gonna stab me in the face, Kay. <laughs> it's like, that's two <laughs> inches away from my eye, please. Back it up, Kay. You're gonna make me go blind. I'm gonna need an eye patch. Oh, God. <laughs> Paul's like, eye patch. <laughs> <laughs> and that, everybody. Oh, man. Is Ace Attorney Investigations Miles Edgeworth. What a fantastic little game. Oh. It wasn't a little game. It was quite a hefty game, but... Uh, well, about the same size as the other games, I think, in my opinion. I don't know, but that was a fun one. It and was. that means that tomorrow, it was very involved. Yes, it's a whole different play style, which makes it at least interesting. It's not it, the same yeah. old, same old court thing, but it still has the usual pressing and presenting evidence, but uh -huh. adding in its own little gameplay mix, which is nice. And I believe it's like doing the investigations and the court trial in this at the same time. Yeah, and I think that carries into investigations too as well which we'll get right into tomorrow that's right we're going into the fan translated ones because they never came out in america after this no. so the fans had to do it but but hey thanks didn't fans. stop us for real <laughs> thanks to all the dedicated people way back when they were like okay capcom you don't want to give us the good shit we'll make the good shit for the people <laughs> and then they have for the people that can only read english <laughs> so we will see you guys tomorrow in Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Woo! Bye-bye, everybody. Look forward to it. Yes.